So here we are rolling around to winter. It's always getting a bit cooler. The last few days are starting to be, well, it's still nice here because it's stupid long Indian summer. But anyway, apparently it's getting colder soon. So I thought I'd better get on to this job. And we've got our paradise bee boxes here that we've put our new little little bees in. The ones we split off. And so they're breeding up quite nicely. And, but I think I shouldn't have put them under this gum tree because they're a bit bloody sleepy here in the shade, but anyway. So I thought I brought a base to give you a bit of a show. Obviously the base is on the bee box over there, so I thought this will save me pulling that apart to show you. And we've got a little groove here. And then you can slide the, this is a little sealing off bit so you can seal up the box. And I'm assuming you slide it in here. But I've discovered just before everybody got here that the bloody shit doesn't fit. Like, so I don't know, maybe just nail it on there, but anyway. I've got myself a pair of trusty scissors. Now, just for the information of the viewers, I actually bought my own scissors. I didn't nick these from the wife. Look at me, no expense spared. I look like a little kitty scissors, but still. <laughs> a little rib off the side here, what do you reckon? I don't know. I'll probably bloody make them too small, and then they'll all just fall out, won't they? That'll be the next thing. Oh, man. Friends at the um, Paradise Bee Company. I'll probably watch this and go, no, 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 don't cut that, you stupid whacker. There's got to be a trick to it. I don't know. Oh, shit. I think I should have stolen the wife's scissors. These are pretty crap. <laughs> yeah, and it's still a bit big, I think. Whew. That's what all the girls say. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Only just fits. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Oh, golly. Anyway, I might take one more rib off for the next one. I reckon we'll do three ribs this time. I don't know. But anyway, the ribs I'm talking about, these little ridges in the cup, in the fluted plastic. I don't know. What the hell is that? Plastic of some sort. Some sort of plastic. I don't want to cut too much off, otherwise, it'll be pointless and it'll just fall onto the ground. I won't be able to say it was wrong, will I? Because they've got footage that will be cutting this shit up. <laughs> well, I better not mess it up. God, no expense spared with me scissors. Hey, what have I done? What is going wrong with that? That has to be where it goes, isn't it? Or do you have to pull the bloody thing apart and it goes in here? then that's not big enough to do that anyway. Right, oh viewers, got me buggered. It's gotta be a trick to this crap. Hmm, anyway, oh well. I'm sure that um, <laughs> somebody from the Paradise Bee Box Company will send me a text or an email and say, now listen, drop, drop, kick. Mr. Bush B man, that's not what you do. You bloody silly whacker. <laughs> I was just thinking it's going to totally suck if this just happened to be one that was weirdly moulded, wouldn't it? <laughs> it the only one that's small. Wouldn't that be a bit messed up? It's like, oh, golly. Anyway, this is a decision that we're making here. Well, I'm making here at the moment. Your camera, trusty cameraman's not going to be held accountable for any of these decisions, he reckons. He's staying the hell out of this idea. Although he did comment that I should buy a proper decent pair of scissors. He reckons I'm a bit of a cheap ass. But they were on special, because it was like the after the going back to school thing, you know, when the kids go back to school, and then they have all the stuff that they didn't sell to the poor unfortunate parents. Well, that was in the unfortunate school thingamajig. I thought, that'll do me. Whole two dollars fifty or whatever it was. If I was any good at recycling, I guess I could stick them together and have an extra one, wouldn't I? <laughs> Hell, even I'm not that scabby. So I've got these little emergency stand going on here. I was just watching them before. It's kind of cool because the, the girls at the other end have got a little bit more sun on their boxes. Although the sun's just bugging off when I'm having covered this conversation, and they're just a little bit busier because the sun's on the box rather than this end. Where it's a bit, they think it's a bit cooler, so they have, they're quietened down a bit. Although when you come here first thing in the morning, these girls are in the sun and they're in the shade over there, so it's the opposite way around. So that's pretty crazy, isn't it? 
So maybe I'll move them all in the sun later on if I get motivated. But more than likely when you come back and see me in a month's time, I'll still be here. So anyway, these just, as you saw earlier on the other thing, they just slide in there just to seal it off. And thank God they are all the same size. <laughs> ow, 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 there's a prick em. Ow, there they are. Well that should keep them a bit warmer. like breaking out the winter quilt isn't it you gotta bloody oh shit there's bloody prickles in this farm my god yeah i wonder if you got any them horrible cow throps around the world <laughs> damn things yeah this is the one i did first and didn't trim enough <laughs> oh come on there we go oh, i'm gonna go back and get my kitty scissors and do it again on your piece of junk. It would be where the bloody prickles are. <laughs> there we go. Got my box with some frames on board. Get out of the sugar. I didn't actually bring anything to put the sugar feeders in, so that was bloody clever, wasn't it? And, if you won't believe it, I'm going through the back of the ute and I'm looking for my hive tool. And guess where my hive tool is? It's in my bucket of wax that I tell you, well, my helpful helper here put the wax, put the hive tool in the bucket of wax. And then I put the bucket of wax in the shed and left the hive tool in the bucket. So now it's debatable as to who's at fault, but I would be thick being it's me since I put the bucket in the shed. But anyway, I'm not going to be too hard on, the, on my helpful man because it was very awesome to have him lifting the boxes today. So anyway, I found myself a little Jimmy bar and I thought, well, that'll work. So this is my makeshift hive tool yet again. So I've got a few of them now. Just for your information, I haven't forgotten my bee suit, even though that's a real plausible concept. I was just here and thinking, oh well, these girls are pretty chilled out. These are the nice, relaxed, proper bread bees, not like them wild pricks up there on the hill. So you never know, we're just gonna pull them out. I'll pull out one feeder and if I get my ass stung to death, I'll go and get my suit on. So it'll just depend. <laughs> we'll just try not to bump anybody. That would be a good idea. Well, they're not jumping at my head yet. That's a good start. <laughs> Joe, you're all lovely, you beautiful little girls. Off my hand. Yow. Okay, maybe they're not that relaxed. Perhaps we should smoke them. What do you reckon? I don't really want to annoy them too much. Ooh. Hell, lad. How do they do that in America without their suits on? Ow! <laughs> maybe not. Oh, God, maybe they're not that peaceful. Maybe I'm just a bit paranoid. Oh, I don't know. Shit. This is a bad idea. <gasps> Oh, come on. Maybe it's an Australian thing. God damn it. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Neck Botox coming on. Still must be some angry bitches in this lot. <laughs> okay, that's enough brave, stupid shit. I'm gonna go and put my suit on. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> you can talk. <laughs> so I'm not quite that brave. I think I've got a couple of years and a few hundred thousand bee stings left to go before I don't give a shit about getting stung. Oh, I tell ya, I'm not that enthusiastic. 
<sighs> well, I got two done. That was pretty cool. Two out of 200. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. Now that I'm looking a little bit more Australian with my bee suit on, <laughs> I'm a bit of a soft cop. So anyway, we had a go, but maybe I need a little bit more experience. So anyway, we're We'll just do the rest of these now before it gets too much colder. I think that was reasonably successful, except getting a couple of bee stings from being a twat. <laughs> we got the sugar feeders out, because hopefully these ladies, I'll come back and have a look at them on another warm day during the winter and make sure they're okay. I might have to give them another little squirt of sugar, but I think they're gonna be fine. They look like they're going good. And so, um, yeah, I reckon that's a wrap for this episode. Catch you at the next one. <laughs>